Top of the L6 on the mighty Metro FM Jumbo. Absolutely amazing. I loved that. That was one of my favorite performances on Replenishment Mondays. They're Metal holding it down with the touchdown team. They're back again tomorrow between 3 and 6. This is Sports That Amplified with Antile. It's a Monday, so you know what that means, right? It means it's the three wise men. Oh, I missed his cue, this one. Malcolm, Mr. Q, Argadi, happy birthday, King. Where's, where's the jingle? That's right? what I was expecting. I was expecting the three wise men jingle. Maybe for, for Malcolm, it was the weekend that it was. Yeah, it is that it was. 17, uh, well, about <laughs> to go 13 after the hour six. What you just heard, top of the show on the Mighty Metro FM on Sports Not Amplified, is um, Zola Majavu. Mm. Kaiser Chiefs fans costing Kaiser Chiefs a lot of money, and there's going to be more yeah. because there's a possibility. There's a possibility, and Mazzotta, when he gets his turn during his segment, will tell you about how it's possible, it's going there, that Kaiser Chiefs fans might end up watching Chiefs on the telly and only on the telly. We'll get into that, because there's so much to talk about. We've got Victor as well. Victor's here. Uh, I content your high is not like last week. This hey, week. Last week, you're not chase. I no, last week, you're not chase. So this week, <laughs> not as many big incidences, but we'll get into that as well with the referee's corner when we go into the principal's office. There's a lot to talk about as far as, uh, uh, you know, the news making headlines. Cape Town Spurs lose their coach. Um, there's Ernst Middendorp's name being mentioned. And, of course, I saw a big story that uh, Mazula saw you tweet about. Uh, I think it was you tweet about... Um, uh, Steve Compella being on loan, you know, or or, or or whatever it is that's happening between Steve Compella, Swallows, and Mamluri Sundowns. We'll get into all of that right here on Sports that Amplified with Andy. Hey, I, I thought Timmy would bring us uh, the new Kaiser chips. Yeah, I thought we'd, we'd be having some ah, Kaiser chips. He's sleepy. Yeah, no, I asked way. for them. I said, where are they? You saw the Kaiser chips. We want to t- Is uh, there Victor? A, I've just had their uh, chips. Yes, Kaiser chips. Chief. Is there a Bob Steak flavor? <laughs> 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 that's a good one. <laughs> It's 14 after the hour six. I am looking forward to tasting them. I must be very honest. I will be uh, going out and sampling uh, the Kaiser Chiefs. Let's take a break. We come back on the other side. We begin the show looking at the weekend that was, the football that was played with a little bit of attention paid into VAR. We speak about how VAR is needed in South Africa and how important it is. Uh But what's the use if VAR in the biggest league in the world, with the biggest team in the world, one of the biggest teams in the world, still can't get it right at that level? Mm. Can't get it right at that level. We'll go into that. And of course, Kaiser Chiefs are uh, doing well over the weekend. Uh, sundowns and Orlando Kaiser Pirates. Kaiser Chiefs doing well over the weekend by not playing, you mean? No, I mean, the, I mean we, we get in the week that was. I get it's the week. <laughs> it's the entire week. So we're counting midweek here. Orlando Pirates failing to, to qualify. Oof. We'll get into that. Sundowns qualifying. We'll get into a little bit of that as well. And the Springboks. Remember, tomorrow we have a full hour of the Springboks. Mazzola, you watch the Springboks. What did you think of that 10 position? Do you think that it should be substituted, the two should be playing? No. Do you think a 10 and 12 would work for Andre as well as No, a, I just want Rene. to give a shout out to Mtutu Zeli Scott and Renier Swart. Man, oh man, oh man. Especially for someone who visits the sport and only watches it when the Springboks are playing. Their commentary is second to none. Yeah, amazing commentary here on the SABC. 2-1 is the victory I'm talking about on Wednesday. So we'll reflect on everything, of course, um, in the weekend that was of the week that was. Orlando Pirates is up for grabs. Uh... What else? Sundowns playing over the weekend. They're good to go. We can speak about them. Uh, on Saturday, there were games on Saturday. There was one game, in fact, on Friday. Morocco Swallows beating Amazulu by two goals to one. Cape Town City in the derby there. Cape Town Spurs scoring first and then going down to Cape Town City. Royal AM losing to Polugana City. That was another result. And on Sunday, there was one match. TS Galaxy drawing with Richards Bay. A lot to talk about as far as sports is concerned. Give us a call. 86 2160 WhatsApp 60 7303 <laughs> Have you seen the newly minted fourth decimal coin series that celebrates South Africa's rich plant and animal heritage and its connection to nature? It is the first full coin set minted post-democracy. Its new features include the Cape Honeybee uh, on the 10 cent, you've got the Bitter Aloe on the 20 cent, the Naisna Churaco on the 50 cent, and the Southern Right Whale on the 5 rand. It still features the beloved King Protea, this time on the 1 rand, and the Springbok on the 2 rand, both donned by the national sporting team. So, go on and spend your money with confidence. SA Reserve Bank, connecting us. Hashtag the weekend that was. That is the final whistle. On Sports Night Amplified with a delay on Metro FM. Proudly brought to you by SABC Sport.
Welcome to today's Sports that Amplified uh, on the Mighty Metro FM. I am Andy Lengube. Let's look back at the weekend that was and starting with football, where the coaches reacted to uh, the different results over the weekend, including Pablo Martin of Amazulu, who wasn't happy with referees. A team, most of the times, cannot control this idea, the game. I don't want to say anything else because otherwise I'm going to be banned. It's difficult when you are playing against 15 and, and even with that, you are also giving them reasons to, to play with one man down and this is something that we need to control. It's the second time that happens. It's true that our player is receiving a criminal tackle. A criminal tackle from Keenan Phillips there, but it was Mubara, um, Obaka Mubara who was sent off in the 57th minute. This year now from coach at Morocco Swallows Football Club, Steve Compella on Phillips and Amazul. And even when he got a yellow card and even the substitution, I felt mm. maybe we should pull him out. We don't want to play one man down west. The opponent has a player out. Possibilities are we may as well get a red. But apart from that, we had to accept the fact that it is physical. And I don't know for whatever reason, uh, Amazulu, Amazulu are quite aggressive and they press well. We, we also keep the ball and we are very provocative. That match ending 2-1 with Tukhfaz Mabasa scoring in the 71st and 75th minute after Brooks had opened the scoring for Amazulu in the 45th minute. Let's go now to a CAF Champions League group qualifiers where Morana Rumurudi uh, was able to beat Orlando Pirates in penalties. I mean, you watch those penalties. It was such a great penalty t- shootout there. Those boys from um, uh, Galaxy had practiced their penalties. They were clinical in their penalties. This is their coach, Morana Ramurudi. To be honest, today it was a matter of saying to them, they're a generation that can give hope to the coming generation. If they do well here, there are small boys, young boys out there in Botswana who needs to believe that Botswana as a country have winners. And if, if we win, we are giving hope to those who are back home who still wants to make life out of football. And uh, I think that was the motivation. And now let's go to the losing coach of that clash, which is Jose Ribeiro of Orlando Pirates, about his exit of the CAF Champions League. Difficult day. It's not. Uh, <coughs> it's not acceptable. Our team is is built and, and prepared to to go to the Champions League group stage. So we cannot accept this result and only saying that we were unlucky. It's uh, nobody feel proud about the, the result and the fact that we are not going to the group stages. We have to accept it, analyze it, but at the same time we have to take responsibility. The coach more than anybody else. Well, it's 32 after the year was six. That's it as far as the football locally is concerned. Remember that the Springboks did go out um, uh, yesterday. We did give you that match live on the SABC. It was exciting to see the Springboks uh, winning that match after having lost against Ireland. But was it enough? As it stands at the moment, not qualified for the next group. But in my view, looking at the groups and looking at the dynamic of that match, Ireland versus Scotland, we're as good as gone. We're as good as being in the next round. But we'll get into that and so much more tomorrow uh, for an hour where we talk rugby. We'll bring on Rene Swart and we'll bring on probably, um, uh, let me see, who's available? Who are we getting? Mtutu Zeli Scott. Mtutu oh, Zeli Scott as well. Scottish. So the two of them are going to be on the show tomorrow. So it's going to be exciting. But today we've got Mazola as well as uh, Victor Thungwane, the principal. Let's get straight into news, making headlines over <laughs> this weekend. Mazola, there's a lot you need to talk Oof. about. Oof. Dan Dan's Malisela getting a job after how long? Jeez, he's been out on the sidelines. Great to see him out at Baroka. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it was bent, it was meant to happen i guess uh, when you're out of a job for so long uh, especially a club in the lower division uh, you know they're looking for style they're looking for someone who's familiar with um, uh, with the league as well you know we we know what he's done at TX galaxy yeah. so i wish him wish him all the best uh, but but hopefully it's not one of those yo yo move around for den dens cuz it it happens to him quite a lot unfortunately so i know he's a big fan of the show i know he listens to the show so Braden, i know you're listening right now all of the very very best out in baroka we wish you well and when the time is right we'll have a conversation with you about your new appointment speaking of new appointments there's going to be one soon in cape town because cape town spurs have let go of Sean Bartlett. Well, they have kind of made one, uh, although they are calling him a, a temporary arrangement. I think mm-hmm. it was written in the stars. I mean, you could you could see it when they made the announcement that Sean Connor, not Sean Connor, Sean, Sean not the Connor, actor, Sean Connor, yeah, okay. not the actor, Sean <laughs> Connor, who the club also happened to mention that he's got a UEFA uh, pro license. Mm. B- bizarre for me for a club to mention that a TD. TD's coaching credentials uh, but you know 
unsurprisingly this morning or this afternoon they've named him as the uh, interim head coach assisted by Vasily Manousakis who was the head coach at Richards Bay uh, last season so and they are still looking for uh, replacements permanent repla- replacements that is you've got the FIFA week coming now perhaps that appointment is just for the game against uh, Super Sport United midweek and after the FIFA break perhaps you know, one would think uh, Cape Town Spurs have drawn a short list of potential coaches there. So it's a developing story, uh, breaking news uh, as one would call it. Uh, but furthermore, the breaking news, top of the show, we played uh, PSL prosecutor Zola Majavu uh, expanding on the latest updates, DC update that is from the league's uh, offices. Remember Kaiser Chiefs a few weeks ago, the fans were you know, <coughs> hammering coach and take you throwing objects, missiles onto the, throwing to the field, missiles yeah. onto onto the pitch. Then it happened again uh, when they were in Bulukwani recently. We even had uh, football manager Bobby Mutawing, and I think I saw uh, another club official also alongside Bobby trying to calm the fans down. Uh, but remember, before that, they had initially been hit with a suspended uh, uh, monetary fine. Uh, on condition that this doesn't happen again but it happened again some two weeks later so Zola Majavu says the entire uh, 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 sentence now is uh, 200,000 uh, of which 50,000 is suspended uh, and will be payable if the same offense is repeated but this means now Chiefs must pay 150k to the league and also pay uh, f- the cost of the sitting uh, for this d- disciplinary hearing and I think this is what Zola Majavu calls um, a final warning. There will be a uh, lockout. So fans, if this happens again in the next six months, hmm. Kaiser Chiefs fans, like you said, top of the show, they will be watching Kaiser Chiefs on the telly. They will not be allowed so at the stadium at all. If anything of what we've seen in the last couple of months happens again, if Kaiser Chiefs fans throw missiles onto the field, if they misbehave, if hooliganism continues at their coach, they will not be allowed at the stadium. There'll be a blackout. Kaiser Chiefs will play their home game or games under absolute lights only. The, the same way this has happened before. I think the last time this happened uh, uh, was when Orlando Pirates played Bidvis Vets uh, behind closed doors, if, if I'm not mistaken. Was this after the Sundowns game? <clears throat> that, that was been, after the, yeah. the Sundowns game because they were also hit with a, with a similar ban of a spectator lockout Kaiser Chiefs if this happens in the next six months or so they are facing uh, the possibility obviously of watching the game uh, from home and a lot of people are already say I saw I put I put that story out on social media a lot of people are saying with with the current results and you know uh, Chiefs blowing hot and cold you know God forbid uh, that the fans uh, react in a, in, a, in, a, in a misconduct of, of this nature and that ban will immediately kick in because counting from today, Zola Majavu's statement, if that happens in the next six months, then Kaza Chiefs fans will watch behind uh, closed doors. So that's... Well, those let's are take a look. I just want to yeah. quickly very, you know, take a look at the Kaza Chiefs fixtures that are to yeah. follow, right? Cape Town. They've Spurs, got Cape Town. Cape Town City tomorrow. And then after that, they've got Golden Arrows. Um, and then they've got Cape Town City and then the Derby. Yeah, and then in between that, obviously, there'll be a culling uh, Culling Cup or Culling uh, Black Label Knockout mm. Competition that's being launched next week. Uh, so Kaza Chiefs will play one of the DSTV Premiership rivals pending the draw in the next uh, couple of weeks. So I think you've got a long time to behave, Makos. You've got a long time to behave. Let's yep. move on yep. uh, to Soweto Stall, Steve Compella. There was a big story that uh, we saw saying that when he left Sundowns yeah. to go to Morocco Swallows, he was uh, essentially on loan. <laughs> Essentially, he was going on loan and Sundowns was still paying yeah. uh, a part of his salary while he's at Swallows. I, I can tell you what, the reason I didn't raise an eyebrow to it or think otherwise is because, do you remember the situation with Rulani, Rulani Mukwena when he went to yes. Chiba United? Yes. Do you know what I mean? So that, that was one of those, what's going on there? Is he on loan? Is yeah. he an outright coach? Well, the difference here is that Orlando Pirates at the time did did confirm that it's a, it's a loan agreement or Rulan, coach Rulani Mukwena was seconded. Uh, to Chipa United until the remainder of his of, contract, of his contract yeah. which at the time it was around March. So he was literally yeah, a so coach the, and yeah, loan. So the contract had two, three months to go. Unfortunately, because of the COVID lockdown, 
Coach Rulani was only in charge of one cheaper United game and then went back to Mamelodi Sundowns. This is similar arrangement, so to speak. Um, we've got a clip of Coach uh, Steve Rompella talking about it because I was at Dobsonville Stadium on Friday and I had a chat with him. I said, Coach, please set the record straight. I, I don't know if he 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 cleared it up, but but <laughs> God grant me the serenity to speak the, what is right and the sanity to understand the dynamics of this beautiful game called football. Aye. There you go. Let's hear it. <laughs> the manner in which matters were settled uh, left things because it was so cordial, so professional, and it never left anybody with maybe bad language or negativity and all that. So now it came across as if no, he's just on low. But it is purely because of the level of maturity on how Mamelodi Sundowns handled my issue and how I received the manner in which they handled it. So the three plus one will be over and I'll be jobless as soon as I leave Morocco Solos. So uh, that that <laughs> last part, <laughs> three plus one will be over, he will be jobless. So this is what uh, Chairman David Mukhashwa said in an interview with, with, with us at SABCSport.com when mm. he hired Steve Rompella. He said Steve Rompella has been given a one-year contract with an option to extend. Steve Rompella says his contract at Sundowns was three years plus one. He's in the plus one. Uh, but... <laughs> Okay, let me ask let, you straight let, up let question. Because yeah. I know you and money, you run away from money. <laughs> no, no, Did no. Did you no. ask him if he's still getting paid by Sundowns? No, he is because in the sense that that's a settlement. So he still had a one-year contract remaining. So, so they're paying him out his one year, but they're paying him per month as per usual. Possibly. I don't, I don't think it was a lump sum. He didn't say it was a lump sum. So every month, ukra salary goes Sundowns, ukra salary goes Sundowns. By the sounds of it. But, hey, he, but, he, but, he, sa- but he says it's not a loan. It's part of the cordial agreement between Sundowns and himself to say, okay, I'm leaving, but I was still in my plus one. So as per contract, he is... Pay me out. Yeah, what you he, owe ma- me. he must be paid out. Whether Sundowns decide to pay him a lump sum or every month, it's up to how they do uh, the agreement. Oksalayo, he's left Mamelodi Sundowns. He's a Morocco Swallows head coach, but he says he's not on loan. He, it's you just know, sundowns have he's, a, he's you plus know, one is being paid out, I don't think but they still do loan. Sundowns used to have the clause that uh, when you're a player because when you're on loan you can't play but that applies this. to a player does that apply to Steve? <laughs> uh, no, that doesn't apply. he sat on the bench against Sundowns if that applied to Coach Steve they would <laughs> have said coach the they would have said no, no 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 Coach Steve you can't you can't, you can't, you can't coach well I'm glad there's terrification on that I'm glad there's terrification on that uh, so Abang Shashai although not enough no Gaile on the street no Gaile on the street let's go on to I want to go to the women's championship this month but before that, let's perhaps touch on, on Orlando Pirates and um, uh, joining Galaxy. Morena Ramurbudi had something to say about having played Pirates and he was surprised. He was surprised to see Saleng on the bench uh, to begin with. In fact, let, let, let me let the coach explain and then we can dive into it. I thought, honestly speaking, Saleng will come in because how they were playing, I think it was more of his game, uh, utilizing that with more, uh, creating those 1v1s. But maybe um, for reasons known to coach and maybe because they are playing the final, maybe the coach decided that he can't risk all his players. But uh, when, when during the game, I thought uh, Saleng will come in because uh, Pirates wanted to stretch us so that they can play in, into the box. So I felt that he was going to give us a problem. Yeah, hmm. he is surprised at Saleng. And I think so were the rest of us, you know, that uh, a, a crucial game, a must win, your best player. I mean, this this guy was player's player of the season, nominated for footballer of the season alongside Debo Mokwena as well. And in, in, a, in a season-defining match almost for Orlando Pirates to try and get into the group stages of the Champions League, uh, the Spanish guitar puts him on the bench and he was an unused substitute. We we don't know of any underlying injury or the, the what the ca- whatever the case may be. And Coach uh, uh, Morena says maybe he was saving him for the cup final against Sundowns over the weekend in Durban. Oh, we um, a tough one that uh, for Orlando Pirates fans to swallow and expect. But I'd love to hear from you as an Orlando Pirates fan as to your thoughts on that day. He did. Um, uh, I mean, there was, you had Dandal, you had Kapinga, and Tim. Those were the four that were unused as far as substitutions were concerned. You know, you had Maswanga, Lepasa, Erasmus, and Londo, Hoto, Munare, Munyane, CBC, Marco, Oki, and Chaine, who started for Orlando Pirates in that match. What could have Esaleng done? The coach, obviously, of the opposition. Yeah. Think feels Saleng like could have you them. could have changed the game. Yeah, yeah. He feels Saleng could have hurt Juaneng FC, but 
uh, obviously the Pirates coach uh, felt differently and you know I'd, I, I, would, I wouldn't necessarily put it to that but the opposition coach suggests that if they had a weapon like Saleh maybe the results could have gone in their favor well Pirates dropped down to the playoffs of the Confed Cup so they still have an opportunity to get into uh, a continental competition but not the glamorous one Speaking of glamour, uh, there was a, a, a big glamorous feeling in and around Africa to oh. say we're going to see some of the best African teams take each other on. What had failed in Europe <coughs> was going to work mm. in Africa. Yeah. We're going to see the league of all leagues, the ultimate in leagues. You know, we had uh, Jessica Mutaun, uh, I think at some point, yes. you know, uh, being very friendly in 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 calf circles which in gave fact, us confidence uh, Jessica Mutaung went to the launch yeah. of the African uh, su- well, Super League at the time but now since abbreviated to African Football League uh, even getting that position uh, at CAF as which gave uh, us all an, an yeah, indication which, yeah, or an that, idea that, that Kaiser, Kaiser Chiefs, Chiefs were in and remember Andile this initially was going to be a 24 team tournament um, our understanding at sabcsport.com was that uh, Pirates had not necessarily been in and around the, 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 the round table to discuss this league. But Kaiser Chiefs definitely were. So were Mamelodi Sundowns. We even had uh, Miss um, Gonzalez uh, when she was Simba CEO at the time uh, talking about how Simba think this is great for African football. I had her here and I must be very honest. When I spoke to her, I got the feeling that... Um, she wasn't as well briefed as she should have been. Yeah, well, well, it, it wasn't surprising because subsequent to that, the league was then cut to top eight, uh, and obviously based on CAF rankings and Kaiser Chiefs because they haven't played in the competition uh, as many times as Mamelodi Sundowns, for instance, who've qualified now Champions League group stages nine times in a row and have won it once in in in, in those nine seasons. But Kaiser Chiefs on and off in that time. So were Orlando Pirates. But the breaking news over the weekend was that the PSL uh, uh, BOG met in Hyde Park on Thursday last week uh, with the league head honchos asking the member clubs to vote whether to allow Mamelodi Sundowns to play in this competition. And the vote was unanimous that uh, the league cannot allow Mamelodi Sundowns to participate uh, in this competition. So it's back and forth now. Safa issuing a statement late on Saturday night saying they are backing. Because Safa African, is, of course, of course, African in bed with CAF in Af- terms yeah. of this. Absolutely. So Safa are backing the African Football League. The PSL are not. As it stands, my understanding is that Sundowns could attempt to use two squads, but the league also feels if they do that, then it undervalues their product. You know. And the other f- question is, which team will coach Rulani? Uh, lead if they've split into two teams. Will coach uh, Wendell or coach Mangoba take the other team in the domestic But also, there's the, there's the financial <coughs> part of this. If Sundowns, go into, yeah, rams, if Sundowns yeah. go into it with already the financial, you know, fair play being questioned in South Africa because of what Sundowns have in, 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 in availability yeah. to acquire players, mm. they go into this it'll even beef that up a little bit more because it means they must buy more quality. They must get more players into that team because they'll have a lot more games already sundowns every season. Mm -hmm. Every season. If you ever wonder why sundowns have such players sitting on the bench, no. They utilize all their players because sundowns play more games than any other team in this country. And uh, at the beginning of the season, uh, we asked Coach Rulani about, you know, the signings that they had made, uh, whether it was in preparation or anticipation of being Pay, playing in the in the in the in the African Football League, and he says, absolutely, you know, because we know we are going to be in various competitions, and we want to be strong. We want to win all of them if possible, and they've done exactly that. Whereas, you know, uh, the rivals, you know, you can pick and choose whether they've signed enough quality to sustain them, and they are not in it now. So, can you imagine seventy-five million rands? What that would do for any club on the African oh, continent, yeah. really? Never mind Sundowns. We've got the backing of the Motipe. <coughs> Uh, family as well, but 75 million rands. It's a game changer. If Kaiser Chiefs were part of that, uh, Orlando Pirates were part of that, you know, that's winning the league. Mm. How many times? Do the Mets there. 15 million rands for the DSTV Premiership times by how much? It's almost five times. Mm. You'd need to win the league five times to get what you would get in that one sitting. And we're not even talking about what you'd get if you won the thing. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? My uh, NSL rules says before you go and play outside, you must get an approval. When Absolutely. They, when they play together. So the CAF Champions League, the CAF Confederations Cup, they're all approved by yes, PSL. By PSL. And yes. can, I, can I also play devil's advocate from a league's point of view here? Uh, the league, from what I understand from uh, officials that were at the BOG, is that the league is saying, 
we don't have an issue with this next season when CAF has sent us the fixtures in advance because our clubs play in inter-club competitions every every year. There's, we've got no issues with that. But when we have a fixture confirmed in the middle, well, almost in the middle of our, of our Premier Soccer League season, and we now have to shuffle fixtures around to accommodate... Mamelo so is Sundown. that where the issue is? Mm-hmm. The it, fact that the league would need to shuffle? To, so if, of course. if Sundown said, hey guys, don't worry, uh, we've had a conversation with CAF, mm-hmm. and they're going to fit this mm-hmm. in and around what we've already got going on, then it would be a different story? I believe so. Yeah. Because, But is, is it possible to happen now? Because CAF have released the fixtures, at least for Sundown's first game uh, against Pedro de Luanda of Angola, and it's on the 21st of October. That weekend is the block for the Culling Cup competition, which obviously replaces the Telcom knockout. And what happens then? Sundowns are hosting Pedro... Because you know, we could see sundowns in potentially, let's say things go fantastically well, mm-hmm. we could see sundowns in seven different competitions in a single season. Seven different competitions. This is at a time when Pep Guardiola has made a statement coming out saying that players should go on strike around the world yeah. because of the number of games that are currently being played. Yeah, he feels that it is lessening. Uh, uh, the, the quality of what we're seeing on the field. Uh, it is lessening the quality and, and the recovery of what we're seeing in players as well. Seven by seven, you might ask yourself, what am I talking about? You've got the three cup competitions in South Africa. Yes. You've got the league, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You've got uh, CAF the league. CAF Champions League. You would have now the football, league, the African, football, football African Football League. League. Yeah. And depending on how they do in the Champions League, mm-hmm. they could go to the Club World Cup. Exactly. Or any of the teams there, in fact, yeah. could go to the Club World Cup. That's yeah. seven different competitions mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. one season. That's exactly why the Super League in Europe failed. Because the coaches were saying, no ways, we are being exploited, too many games. Uh, so were the, the, the coaches and the players were singing the same song. But I think in Africa it's different given the where our league is in terms of... The, the standards, but yeah, I need to make a call. I need crazy. to make a call to Kef. We need to have this conversation because I am not anti uh, the Super League. I'll tell you that mm. I am not anti it at all. I thought it was a great idea. Mm. I think African football could rise, could learn, could grow from it, but not at n- not not. I, n- my my whole thing is not to the cre- or the discredit of everything and everyone else. Do you know what I mean? So that's where I stand at the moment. But which is what which is what the league is saying at for now. If 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 the fixtures come out uh, and it's all sorted, maybe next season there's a different story. But please, I know you have him on speed dial. Call uh, Mr. Veron and get get him on. Yeah, the show. I know. I'm I'm out in uh, Abidjan next week. Um, I'm going to be with the CAF president uh, and, and, and everybody else at CAF and perhaps we should get on the mic and have a conversation about it. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, all Victor can do today is clearly is quote from the NSL law book. Let's take a <laughs> break. <laughs> David, we're going to be taking a lot of what you've got uh, to Soccer Zone. Uh, uh, you were trending last week after our show because of your decisions. You don't always agree with other referees and I told them then and I'll tell them now. Mm. I go with you. Whatever this man says, yeah. trust me, it is the Bible, at least here on the show. Yeah. So, let's go to Swalos. Yeah, let's go to Swalos and Amazulu. Uh, we said uh, the last time that uh, when you are in the Kruger National Park, stay in the car. You get out of the car, the lions will eat you. Now, Mubara survived a red card the other day while Amazulu was playing Swalos. He had batted somebody, a referee's Mureki by then. He did not see him. This time, uh, he got Moses Kesha from Velcom. Hi! Double red card. I was so happy that uh, even other players who were involved in that mass confrontation, Abo Felis, uh, they were booked for that. So uh, from the Friday game, Refru Moses Keswa and his uh, fourth official Utandon Zanzega, they did well by arresting everyone who was involved. They had the game intact, even though Amazon six coach, yellow cards, one red. Even though the Amazon coach is saying, yeah, yeah, but we can tell you that Brooks bought a yellow card which was unnecessary. We can tell you that uh, Mubarak's red card was unnecessary. Yes, you cannot hit head but somebody. You know it's a red card. Even if they hit you, uh, you cannot do that. So that's one. Uh, we're done with that. Let's go to the next one. So, so, so the coach, because yeah. you know Amazuru, listen. Yes. You want to tell him that, coach, sit. The decisions were correct. Yes. Because Felis got a yellow card for what? For hitting somebody in a mass confrontation, which could have been a red card. Because it's violent conduct. If you do something when the ball is not in play, you can get the red card for violent conduct. That was just before halftime, yeah. Yes. So the ball was not in play. 
So a, a Felix hit somebody. So when he hit somebody, it's violent conduct. A player can be sent off. So he survived on the basis that when he use a hand, uh, the law says unless the force was negligible. So if it's a leg, red card your arm. So that's why how we survive. Give us one more. Give us one more. The next one is a handball. Ma. Ah, yeah, he kept on City and kept on Spurs. There were two handball on the 17 minute and 41 minute. 17 minutes. Uh, I saw Tinkler saying, hey, penalty, penalty. Referee said play on. Correctly so because the ball came from the head to the hand. Then the next one, we saw a player uh, using his hand to, 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 to stop the ball. So penalty was given. So there's still confusion as to uh, handball. When do you give a, a penalty or when do you penalize for handball? But we'll clear it up at, on, on Soccer Zone tonight as to if it comes from your own body to the hand, they cannot be handball. It's not deliberate. But if it comes straight to the hand, we'll now have to go to the consideration whether the hand moves towards the ball or not. The last one, Ma'a. Amazulu again and Polukwane seat. In the goal area, we saw a player starting the ball from a, a goal kick. And then someone handles the ball inside the penalty area of which... I a, saw that video. A penalty should have been awarded. So I hope on Soccer Zone today we'll clear the air. But, but now uh, here on Metro FM, we can tell everybody that uh, that was supposed to be handball penalty for Amazul because the ball did, was did, correctly... The goal I thought he was thought taken. he was restarting the game. The, the, the goal kick was correctly taken. The, the ball moved. Then the then, player stopped it. So to if, reach. if it moves, the procedure has been completed. Whoever touches it with their hand, <laughs> penalty was supposed to be given. Let's take a break. When we come back, it's all about you. Taking your calls on anything from the weekend, 86 I'm expecting to hear a lot from Mama Paganiya. Um, things haven't gone quite well in the last four games. Striking force, not quite striking. Games not being won. What's going on? Metro FM. It's where you want to be. Turn it up. The three wise men, but not always so wise. On Sports Night Amplified with Mdile on Metro FM. Drop us a voice note on 060-552-7303 now. Hey, Andy and the Metro FM listeners. Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to go to the Hello, the mistakes. It's the little free. If he was sundown. So, I'm going to go to the Metro FM. Because sundown was playing in Africa. <laughs> Thanks, Petros and Pretoria. Oh, wow. Thanks, uh, Ah, Petrosin. The weekend that was. Hey. The three wise men. Ma, do you know who's going to out here? Mm. In your knowledge of sport in general, bro, you probably second to nine in the whole country. I will. But I got a question for you. Uh, How did you make the up, choice yeah? and the decision to support Man United? <laughs> <laughs> you set me up. I, I didn't feel that. <laughs> nice. And it's not too late to change, eh? You're not too old. You, yeah, you, you set can me still up. change. As chief, I, I, I come from an era where once you've chosen, you've chosen. And your decision to support whatever team is is, is, is one that is made very carefully and it is one that is um, most times a very emotional one. Um, every team I've ever supported, every team I support is is like that. Manchester United, Eric Cantona won me over. I've been there. I was there when Sir Alex Ferguson played his last game. I was there when we played our last away game against Chelsea. So that's the kind of... I've been to Man United. At some point, I was going every year to watch a game for five straight years. I don't think you can just erase that history. You can't. Andile, evening. The weekend that was. Hey. Um, for me, I, I don't care which player you're fielding. I don't care which player you're fielding, as long as we're winning. But then if we start catching hands, if we start losing, then I start to question, uh, as an Orlando Pirates fan, I start mm. to question your, 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 your tactics. I start to question your understanding of football. You know, you're leaving your Makaula, Pule, uh, Pule, we heard that he's back in training, full training. Uh, your Lodge, your Olisanda are on the bench. And then we're catching hands, we're losing. And then I start to question your, your credibility as a coach. I think that's so unfair. You know, yeah, only because they're losing. I've been saying that, you know. Jose has, has a good way of managing parents, but he's too standard. You know, he's hmm. too ordinary. You need to elevate, you know. Oh, you can't be living such now he's on the bench. Then the next thing, you're catching hands. Then there's no explanation. Really, I, I think I think you're right in, in a lot of what you're saying. You know, um, 
we need to have a Pule conversation at some point. Mm. How many games he plays a season for a player as good as Pule, for a player who was a knock away from Bafana Bafana all the time. Timikosi Lodge as well. We need to have that conversation. But as far as Ribeiro is concerned, we said it, Mazola and I said it to him here. We've said it outside of that. We said at the beginning of this season, he's one of the better coaches we have in the DCP Premiership. No, 100%. You don't win two trophies and come second in the league as a fly-by-night. Yeah. I think he showed last season in a new country, continent yeah, yeah, altogether, yeah. that is a quality coach. You wanted to, to, to fix something. Yeah. Uh, I, earlier I had said uh, Ki- um, Orlando Pirates, Pirates dropped down to the uh, Confed Cup. In fact, I made a mistake. Kev actually scrapped that uh, earlier this year uh, ahead of the Intercontinental Club tournament. So now you don't play. make it to the group stages? So you're pi- out. Yeah, Pirates have been eliminated. They'll play no further part in the uh, Kev competitions this season. Malcolm, you look like you want to play one more voice note. Okay, one more. Then Andy the Andy Lee, hey. Hey. the busy corner of Mose, Pe, XM Mazola, Tavik, the weekend that it was. Eh, Sean Butler, they were fit. Uh, Sean Butler, they are not lucky. Mar anyway, retiring. But I am Bar Ben, I was Teddy, I'm Mark Iramicolo Habe. I am a call, you win a fail. Jimmy Mago, the busy corner of Mose. Timmy, what if you don't win? Wabon, this is my worry. What if you don't win? Uh, Timmy, you're going to have to remove this so I can see who we have on the line there. Um, let's go to uh, Timmy Majibali. Is it Sinong out in Rassenburg wants to talk about Kaiser Chiefs? Sinong? Hey, man, how's it? Yeah, I know, I'm good, man. Talk to us. Yeah, the weekend that was a uh, tournament, not always so wise. Not always so wise. <laughs> <laughs> we treat them as a lot of mistakes. Yeah, no, so we're not, not always, really so, not always wise. so wise. We are, we're okay with making mistakes. Talk to me. Uh, yeah, I just want to talk about Kaiser Chiefs, man, because uh, I think uh, we are starting a new era since we signed uh, the Ox. Okay. Uh, Make sure that tomorrow we're going to watch the game. You know why I'm going to watch the game? Tell me. I'm just going there for the Ox. Yeah, hmm. but but please behave. You born in Zola, Utwile, Zola, Mazavu, waiting. No, man. These guys, we don't have to fight, man. I have a sense. I think we have something, my one. Yeah. In the basic game, Ilya, Esan, Dancia, Cap, where by Taviki, I will be the Mister Luko or whatever. Any mistake, maybe we'll be talking something else, you know. But I'm urging all the Marcus friends to let's just behave. And we'll win. We are, we, are, we, are, we are getting there, guys. We are getting there. Sedong, I hope so for you. Uh, you know what I've always said about Chiefs. Uh, winning Chiefs is good for the league. So I hope that you do. Sedong, thank you so much. Let's go to Emma Tafeni. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, the weekend, it was my... Mm-hmm. I was very disappointed with the uh, behavior of Dalwe to Apupaka Mopara. I think he's one of the most uh, experienced players, Kumazulu, but to consider the red card in that man, I think he could have uh, done better mm-hmm. because I think we are losing and throwing Ama game, take finding out the Iwona essence of show, which is mm-hmm. collector one of my points. Games will come thick and fast, Ma'a, as so was with the and then coming to a Springboks, very. Ah, uh, 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 so many people join us for that rugby conversations on Tuesday. I'm glad you guys suggested it and I'm glad that we went with it. Let's go to Peter. Peter's out in Brits. Peter. Go Brits, but I'm Peter. Talk to me. <laughs> Andy, we spoke about this. Uh, yeah, yeah, Cape Town Spurs. I've told you, you've got that clip that one coach is going to be fired. Mm. It's fired. I've, I've told you that. But my big disappointment, Man City, Orlando Pirates. Oh, okay. Pirates, uh, they didn't play well. Mm. Three games, four games now. We are not doing good. We are doing bad. One goal. I don't, mm. I don't know what's the problem, but uh, for my for my side, I don't know. Maybe mentally uh, we are disturbed because we are going to play final. I think so. Yeah, but you because weren't going to play final three games ago. Yes, but then I think the final it's more because always part of when you have to play sundown, they do get a record. It affects them mentally, you know. Because remember that you know it was the one nil against. Uh, uh, Galaxy, right? And then you lost to Sundowns, and then you lost to Stellenbosch, and then you lost to, well, I mean, you lost in aggregate uh, to, to, to Galaxy again after winning and, and, that game. And, and, and I wasn't expecting such because Joining is the small team, man. It's a small team. Even that Joining can play uh, uh, maybe Marie's back in the 
What is second big journey, my is it, is, that is the small team. I was so disappointed. Four we games really you've scored so, one goal. Oh, just, just imagine, but we were supposed like Mary Believer, we've got the good strikers, we've got <coughs> we've got Kemi and we've got the Pasa. But they're not they're not they're not good in goals. I don't know. The problem is the the middle street of Orlando Paris, we are not they're not giving them balls, but they're still giving them balls, but they're they are missing. Peter, it's if you listen to the show on Friday, the podcast guy said it. The striking force of Orlando Pirates the striking force, is not enough. Man. The striking force is not I enough. Peter, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Man. Let's go to Brian uh, Makuya. He's out. Uh, uh, Brian Makuya, who's out in Nakuya. Yeah, that is true. Hey, yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> hey, Timmy, I'm sorry. Brian Makuya who's out in Hakuya. Talk to me. Yes, 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 that's true. Uh, anyway, I'm not happy with uh, how you guys are selective when it comes to um, RSS decisions. Um, mm. Yes, yes. Um, last week, you talked about the Taylor Chiefs um, uh, incidences, Taylor, yeah. which was not given. Yeah. But then, um, the last time I checked, uh, Mr. Sungwana uh, said, if, if the ball hits, uh, any part of the body and go to the hand. That is not a, a, a handball. So I wanted him to check also, unless you missed it, that Mbule uh, 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 penalty which was given. Yeah, uh, we checked it. it uh, there's no evidence that it hit the head. It went straight to the la- to the hand, not the head. There's no evidence of the head. So, but then, Brian, what are you saying? Are you saying that ball touched... It, it started with the head to the head. No, nah, no, no, you must eat carrots, Baba. <laughs> no, 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 we must eat carrots, Baba. There's no evidence. So, so Brian, I can tell you now that we sat in front of um, uh, our very complex equipment at, at the TV center and we looked and we the rewinded and we put it forward. We didn't see evidence that it started anywhere else but straight to his hand. And I'll tell you what, do you know what is yeah. always a good indication as to yeah. that it is a penalty? You must look at the rest of Sundowns, including the man himself. Uh, let me also give you a tip, my friend. I yeah. went to do a presentation on sundowns. I spoke about it that if it hit the head to the hand, it's not handball. Did you see Mbule complain? No, because he knew it hit the hand. So case closed, my friend. So Brian, Mbule you should go watch it again. Go look ask at Mbule, Mbule and yes. look at the rest of the sundowns. Yes. They almost concede to I'm that penalty. Like okay, cool. Thank you so much, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> the last one, unfortunately, is going to be the last one because I can see um, a pretty movement in black and white coming towards us like a, a panther. Slimindler. Uh, Hello, ma. Hey, talk to me. Yeah, ma. Uh, weekend that was. Yeah, I'm so disappointed, ma. Uh, this weekend. You're a pirate supporter. And man, you. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> my buddy. Yeah. But, uh, okay, uh, I just want uh, Dr. Rivera to stick to his plan and uh, motivate his players, and then he must stick to his line, starting line. He mustn't change anything. There's nothing wrong with the guys. He must just motivate them. And then just try to support the, the pressing there, and then they must be also aggressive because I see they are not aggressive. Oh, so many sundowns I saw in the first sundowns was all over us, and then second half were much better. I well, think that's the only thing that we need to sort out the mindset and then uh, be aggressive on the ball. I appreciate with you. Thank you so much. Without the ball, the three of us, we're gonna try to go be wise on TV. Maybe <laughs> there we'll be a little wiser from all of us here on sports. <laughs> So VR is there in the township tournament. Vino Snap, we'll have a chat. We're out of here. <laughs>